Transportation and moving people through or around Arlington is one of the most important issues in our community. This is evident in the recent improvements to Crystal Drive and the installation of three high-speed elevators at the Rosland Metro. Hello, more on those stories later, but first I want to talk about earthquakes. Remember a couple of years ago when we had one? Well, at 1017 on October the 17th, millions of Virginians will take part in the great shakeout earthquake drill. And this is how you do it. When you feel the earth shaking, drop to the ground, crawl to somewhere safe like a desk, and hold on until it stops. For more information, visit shakeout.org. Friends of the library, Lindy hopped back to the 1920s and raised thousands of dollars for the Arlington Library Early Literacy Program. Dressed in period clothing, dancers did the Charleston in the Artisphere Ballroom to raise funds and support the 1,000 Books Before Kindergarten initiative. You can register for the Early Literacy Program at any Arlington Public Library. For more information in both English and Spanish, go to library.arlingtonva.us. Crystal Drive is now two-way all the way and new traffic signals help pedestrians and cyclists cross safely. It's all part of the Crystal City Sector plan to transform this urban village into a more vibrant and walkable neighbourhood. To learn more about the new Hawk pedestrian and cyclist crossing system, visit arlingtonva.us and search Hawk. You can now get in and out of Roslyn Metro Station in record time with the help of high-speed elevators. You're going to love them. Take a look. We are here to celebrate the grand opening of Roslyn's second metro entrance. Roslyn is uh, Arlington's busiest uh, rail station. We have about 36,000 people that get on and off uh, the station here every day. What we have here are three high capacity elevators down to the platform level. We have a brand new fare gate mezzanine and we also have major emergency evacuation features. So we're able to evacuate the entire station uh, population. The elevators behind me uh, take you down to the platform level in 20 seconds. Uh, it takes you two and a half minutes to go down the escalators if you're not walking. So for each trip, that's over two minutes of travel time savings for those 36,000 people twice a day. That adds up to a lot of minutes. People get to see the modern touches that we put to this busiest metro uh, uh, station in the entire state of Virginia. So thousands and thousands of people now benefit from high-speed elevators and uh, a modernized, brighter uh, station here that uh, allows uh, uh, a very busy uh, station to move people faster. So we're thrilled that this project was done on budget and on time, and lots of kudos are due for staff, uh, the county staff, and all the partners that work to make this a reality. All of this is part of the building of the infrastructure to modernize Roslyn and make it a true destination place where people can live, work, and do business, and also have the modern infrastructure that we need. So uh, we've been working at, at this for a long, long time, and even though it's, uh, I think this project was just over $40 million, it's an investment in the future. Let's enjoy this. Roslyn's the place to be. Congratulations to everybody who made this happen. Thank you. To find out more about the planning process and realize Roslyn, visit arlingtonva.us slash roslyn. With its unique community canine area, the James Hunter Park is now officially open. So if you live in Clarendon, work in Clarendon, or just visit in Clarendon, the park is open to you every day. After leaving the Clarendon Metro Station, it's a quick walk to the park on North Hartford Street and 13th Street North. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around Arlington.